We completed the application and it's time to deploy it. For this course, I'll use Netlify to deploy our site. And that's because it's really, really, really easy to deploy your site to Netlify. It won't take long. There are some few steps we have to do before we can deploy it and also decide if we want to have continuous deployment. That means that we have to put our code on GitHub. So every time we change the code and push to GitHub, Netlify will know this and start rebuilding our site automatically and publish it. So that's continuous deployment. And also we can just build our site now and just upload it to Netlify and that's fine. So we don't have to have this continuous deployment and use GitHub to get our site up and running. The first thing we have to do is to build our site. As we're using Create React app now, we have a command that's called build. So we can just go into our terminal, make sure you're inside your product folder. Mine is called the React RMDB deploy here. But of course you should be in React-RMDB. It's of course the folder we've used in the course. So we have to build our site course. It's not optimized now and we have to optimize it before we can deploy it. So we can just type npm run build. And this will start the build process of our site. Okay, so that went smooth. It has created a build folder for us. If we look in our product folder, we now have one that's called build. And that's great because that's the one we're going to deploy. So if we take a look at Netlify, of course you have to create the free account at Netlify and it won't cost you anything to just host your site like this if they don't grow big and you have many users and stuff like that. Um, to be honest, I don't know the limits there. But you can start a free account and just deploy your sites for free. As you can see, I have uh, yeah five other sites here now. So if you just created your account, you will not have anything here. You will just have this little text here that say that you can drag and drop here to deploy your site. And that's what we're going to do first. So we have our build folder here. You can just grab the build folder and just drag and drop it here on Netlify. And that's it, it's deployed. It's that easy actually. It will create a random URL for you here. You can change that in your settings. And when you get to know Netlify, you have a lot of stuff you can do here to customize things. But if we click this one, you can see that's our site. It's already up and running. And I don't know, I don't think it took 30 seconds to do it. So it's really easy. And it's working great. So that's one way you can do it. And I'm also going to show you how to do continuous deployment. And for that one, we have to use GitHub. So you have to have a GitHub account. I guess you already have it. I think most of developers has a GitHub account. We have to create a new repository here. So we push the new button and we can name it uh, React RMDB deploy test, right? And description uh, test for RMDB deploy, right? And we don't have to initialize this repository with a readme because we already have a readme file and we already have an existing repository. So we just create our repository. Okay. Then we have to do a few steps here to get our local repository connected to this remote repository. You probably have done this a lot of times, but I will do it now anyways. So we have some instructions here. First, we have to type git init. That will initialize git for our application. Then we can check it. We can check git status. You can see that we have a few files here. So we can just type git add and a dot, and that will add them. And then git commit, we have a message. And we can just, yeah, first commit as they recommend. So git commit dash m and quotes and first commit, all right? Then we have to hook this up to the remote repository. So we can just copy this one and paste it in. And then we just git push dash u origin master. And actually nothing happens and I don't know why. Yeah, there was some temporary error, I think. Yeah, that's the computer world. Sometimes things happen and you don't know why. But it worked now. It should work with this command. And if we take a look at our repository here at GitHub, you can see that we have our files here. 
And of course, we shouldn't push our node modules and stuff like that. But this git ignore file has been created automatically for us. So it will take care of that one. So we have our repository up and running. Let's go back into our terminal. We can install something that's called Netlify CLI. That will make it really easy for us to deploy our site. You could, of course, deploy it in Netlify also here. Just create a new site from Git. So you can use that one also when you want to deploy a site, but I will show you how to use the Netlify CLI. First, we can install the CLI. So npm install netlify-cli, and we will flag it with global. So we install it globally. We have to wait now. Everything went smooth here and it installed correctly. Then we just type netlify and deploy. And we have to make a few choices here. We can link it to an existing site. We don't want to do that. So I'll select create and configure a new site. You have to log in to Netlify here if you're not logged in. So it will ask you to log in before you can continue here. I'm already logged in. So that's why that's not happening here for me. And I'll choose my team. You can choose a site name. Otherwise, it will generate one randomly for you. So in this case, I'll just use the random one. So I just press enter. And then the most important part here, we have to select our deploy folder. And if you remember, if we take a look in the finder here, we have this build folder. So that's the one we want to deploy. And we can do that with a dot forward slash and build. And we press enter and it will start uploading our files to Netlify and deploy it. And actually it's not really live now because it created a preview link for us here. So we can look at the live draft URL and actually it opened up in another browser for me. So I will just paste this in here. So we can just check that everything is correct here and it looks nice, I think. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, great. Go back inside of your terminal. And as it says here, we can just use this command to make it go live. So Netlify, deploy, and we flag it with prod, double dash and prod, and press enter. And we have to specify our deploy path again, and that's dot forward slash build, and press enter. And now our site is live at this address here. So you can check that one. I reload it. And as you can see, it has created this one here. So I can just click it. And the site is live. And it's working great. So as you can see, it's really, 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 really easy to deploy your React application to Netlify. So that's why I choose Netlify for this course. I use it myself, and I think it's awesome.